Now, if we want to look at some event handler, we will go to the code and clean this up and add a button. So we will have a button. We'll close the button tag and give it a name like add friend. That means every time you click on this, you will add a new friend. And the click handler for Angular is ng click. So whenever you click on this, we will have a counter for friend and we will add by one every time you click on this. And to display it, we can add another template here. And if you remember the way of adding is like just double bracket and put the count. If we save it and go to the UI, reload the page, we have a count, no values. If we click on this, it increases. As we go, it increases. But if we reload, there is no default value. The way of giving default value is ng in it. So you can initialize anything. Here we will make count equals to zero. So save it, go to the UI, reload it. By default, you have a zero value. If you keep adding, then you will have more friends as you click. It becomes harder when you have so many friends and you don't want to have more than six friends at a time. So what we can do when you have six friends, we can hide this button. We go to the code and add a condition here like ng hide and the button would be hidden when your count is greater than five. As simple as that. Save it, go to the UI, reload the page, click you add friend, add friend and you have five. If you add one more, your add friend is gone. Sometimes we get disconnected from friends and if you want to remove a friend, you just go there and add a button here and give it a name like remove friend. And you can have a, a ng click handler here, ng click. What it will do, it will reduce a friend. So your friend count would be count minus one. Save it, go to the UI and reload it. Now you have two button, add friend and remove friend. As we click adding, adding friends, the friend increases. And remember when become six, my add friend is gone. And if I remove a friend, the add friend becomes available again. 